Now I want to demonstrate three basic cuts of kinesiology tape. The first cut is going to be a basic eye cut, and it looks like an eye, which is why they call it an eye cut. You're simply going to take off as much kinesiology tape off the roll as you need to. And again, the backing has these little markers, so if you need to have a specific length, every mark indicates two centimeters, you'll be able to cut it exactly where you need to. So another tear that I want to show, which is what we use when we use very small pieces, uh, for some applications is kind of what we call a band-aid tear. So what you'll do is actually take the middle of the, the tape, break the ends, and then pull them apart in the middle. Now what you can do is simply pull those tabs back so that you can then apply your effective stretch between your hands in such a small location. So we'll use these uh, particularly when we're applying directly over a spot of pain or uh, with a small joint that we want to restrict motion. So the next cut of TheraBand kinesiology tape I'll demonstrate is the Y cut. It's probably the second most used that you'll see. And we generally use a Y cut when we have a larger area that we want to cover. So I've already started with my I cut. And what I'm going to do now is simply right down the middle of the tape is cut it down to another about two to four centimeters from my base. And then what I'm going to do is fold those two sides over. See, and then I will create again rounded edges on each end of the tape. Then when I go to apply this tape, I'll simply again break the backing for the anchors of both tails, and then I like to break the backing of the bottom anchor as well, so that when I go to apply the kinesiology tape, again, I'll have my anchors pre-torn, and then my effective length in the middle remaining so that I can remove the tape backing and apply whatever tension I need. The last cut that we'll demonstrate is the fan cut, and this is a cut of kinesiology taping that's generally used for swelling or circulation or trying to reduce uh, lymphedema, for example. So I'll take a basic eye cut, and then what I'm going to do is actually cut strips, very small strips, down to the anchor end. You can cut anywhere from four to six of these fan strips. And again, I will uh, break off the, the, the paper backing from both anchors, and I will apply them directly to the skin, and then each anchor gets this specific amount of tension that I'm going to apply. And as I said earlier, generally with a circulatory um, application, I'll use less than 25% tension. Thank you.